Hello everyone, my name is Lizzie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to do what I was meant to be filming last week. I am finally going to show you how I own an online vintage business and how I work on in such a small space. Um, shouldn't be stirring the soup whilst I'm trying to speak. Considering I own an online vintage business and I take all the pictures myself in this boat or outside. It's rather cold but it's a nice day today so I'm going to try and brave the outdoors because I have two lovely dresses, 1950s dresses, that I'd like to take pictures of and get them all up and ready on the website before Christmas. So I think they'll be perfect for Christmas or New Year's. So yes, I thought I would bring you along for the ride. I'd already done my makeup, I need to do my hair because obviously this is not 1950s hair at all. I am not very good at 1950s hair, but we will see what I can do. So first I'm going to have some lunch, then I think might as well do them sooner rather than later because it's going to get dark quite quickly and it will get cold quickly, so might as well get that done and then I can edit the pictures and post them online. I'm going to show you how I take pictures outdoors, I'm going to show you how I take pictures indoors, and I'm going to try and show you how I take pictures of things that don't fit me and I just take pictures on my mannequin, um, how I set up my studio, and then maybe if I can figure out, I think you can screen record your computer. So I might try and show you how I add an item to my Etsy shop slash my website, how I pr try and promote them. Etsy is quite simple, but I'm still trying to figure out Google Ads, so we'll see how that works. Hopefully they've sorted out their issue of my pictures. They didn't like my pictures for some reason, so that is my plan for the next few days. Here I am just trying to show you kind of my setup. Um, currently using Juliana the boat to put my tripod on. I'm just trying to show you uh, the background I'm going to be using, probably going to be sitting down there. I do excuse my finger for being in the lens. I'm showing you my slippers because I'm explaining <laughs> that I don't want to freeze to death, which is why I'm in my dressing gown. I've got my dress on underneath. So I'll just whip the dressing gown off, take my pictures and put it all back on and run back inside and hope the pictures are good. I'm sorry it is uh, portrait style. I was talking in this clip but I was whispering so you couldn't hear what I was saying but I was basically just saying look at my cute swan friend and I'm just trying to show um, how I pose, um, what I do with the dress. Uh, I have to basically wait 12 seconds for each picture to take so I'm kind of just standing there hoping the pictures are going to turn out nicely and there you go. Okay, I've just taken some pictures of the dress I'm wearing. I managed to get my little swan friend in the picture, so that's pretty good. I'm quite far back, so that hopefully you can see this lovely 1950s dress. It's my phone. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. I wore this last year actually for New Year's, which is what I think would be perfect for selling for someone who would wear it for Christmas or New Year's. I hope you can see it. Um, I don't have much to say apart from it's beautiful. I am now going to put on a pink dress that has a jacket, luckily. Normally I would spend a bit longer outside trying to take plenty of pictures so that I have loads of options, but um, it's pretty damn cold out there and also having to... It, my camera doesn't take a burst, or maybe it does, but I don't know how. Um, so it's like, I have to wait 12 seconds, one picture, 12 seconds, one picture, so, you know, it gets a little cold. So for now, I am going to put on my other outfit, go back out there and take some pictures, and then that will be good for today. Um, and then I'll you know, put them on my website and stuff and I'll show you that process. Okay, I'm in my next outfit. I thought they went quite well together because they're both chantilly lace, but obviously this one is a fitted dress and the other one's a fit and flare dress. Uh, but this one's lovely. My mum wore this for New Year last year, so... I thought that would be nice we had a 1950s theme for New Year's Eve. Um, so yes, let's go and set the camera up um, and try and take some more pictures. And I don't know if I told you this story, but I don't know if you can see my leg, but a nice big bruise there because I fell getting off the boat. It was strange. Um, it was when I was next to the other boat back uh, at the, the old mooring place. And Benjamin wasn't icy at all, so I was like, oh, that's fine. I had my Doc Martens that have quite big have quite a little grip on them, step onto the seas and I'm like, oh, this feels a bit more icy. So I'm walking and the water level had gone up. So the seas was quite a bit higher off, off the ground. And I stepped to get off and my back foot slipped and I almost 
put my foot between the boat and the edge. I almost put my foot between the two and I thought, hmm, that might not be a good idea. So as I was slipping, I managed to basically push myself to land on my knee and then onto my shoulder, considering this is my bad shoulder, which is why I'm going to the doctors for it. And um, so now I've got a lovely, beautiful bruise on my knee. Let me go and figure out where I'm going to take the picture. Maybe you can stay filming. Maybe I'll do that. Let's go outside in the freezing cold. Oh, my little swan friends are over there. Oh. So, take the keys with me. Let's put you here. So I've been putting you on Juliana. Thank you very much, Juliana. Let me try and get on Juliana without falling. I was putting you here, but see that way you can't see the cathedral. Ooh, why do you do that? I'm gonna have to go sideways, I'm sorry. But it's the best way. And it's the most beautiful shot, so. I think the pictures look quite nice. The blue dress, I'm very happy with the pictures. This one, I'm not 100% sure, so I hopefully if tomorrow is nice weather, maybe I'll do some pictures again and I didn't take any pictures of the dress without the jacket on because it was just too cold but basically I have certain poses that I know work well with the dresses or that I just feel comfortable doing that I think are quite 50s kind of poses very elegant you know poses that you see in a lot of 1950s photos and fashion photos and stuff copy them without being you know obviously recreating them exactly because they already exist and might as well make your own out of it which is why I know some people will be like, oh, your hair is not real 50s or your makeup's not real 50s. I thought at least I could do some kind of effort on the front and make it look kind of 50s. I think it will do for now. I mean, the pictures aren't really about me, they're about the dresses. So I am going to get back into my nice warm clothes. I'll see you later. I have my fluffy bottoms on. I am in bed getting my blankets on because, well, a, because it's nice and cozy but b it seems like ironically i can get internet here only in the bedroom nowhere else i wanted to say thank you very much for all the lovely and kind comments from my previous video i wasn't sure if it was going to do very well since i'm not really showing the boat it's, it's more about me and chatting uh, but you all seem to enjoy it and i only had one annoying comment that i deleted so far um, but yeah, thank you for, for all your support. So anyway, I will continue what I'm doing for now and I will hopefully figure out if I can screen record my computer whilst I'm trying to show you some of the pictures. If I don't see you again today and you only hear my voice from showing you things on my screen, I will probably see you tomorrow or the day after, depending on how the weather is and how the lighting is. Here I am showing you my website, <laughs> trying to show you with my very slow internet basically how I upload a new product to said website, showing where I go, which pictures I find, and showing you also that I've probably already uploaded it to Etsy because it's quite easy to upload to Etsy. And I basically just copy and paste all the information so that it's obviously exactly the same because you don't want one item to say one thing and another, the exact same item to say something else on the website. Um, I'm just showing you that where I go find the pictures. It seems like these pictures were extremely wonky. I should have um, tried to make them a bit more level but oh well trying to upload them with my very slow internet but... you will see that i never managed to upload them but just you know putting in the prices putting in all the the details that it needs and showing you what the like ad will look like and then here i'm going back onto etsy to show you what it looks like on Etsy. Um, I would have uploaded my video, but I'm repeating myself. The internet wasn't working very well, so the video would not upload. You have to tag things, you have to say what it's made of, the shipping, the price. Yeah. Uh, here I am showing you what my actual Etsy website looks like. I thought I'd just show you briefly. This is actually just my listing, so this is how I view it. But then here, if the internet works, I will show you how it looks for people that are uh, customers. 
I currently have a sale on my shop for Christmas, 10% off if you're interested. Link in bio. Quick little plug there for my my website. Well, this is my Etsy shop. But um, so yes, this is how it looks. I try and make everything look quite cohesive and similar, but obviously now that I'm in a new location, pictures aren't quite the same. But still, I'm happy with how it all looks. doesn't look pink but it is pink. Let me go and get some lighting and hopefully it'll look a bit better. Okay so here's the setup. Oh I need to move that for now. It's <laughs> interesting I suppose. You gotta do what you gotta do in a small space. Um, but basically you can basically kind of see what my pictures look like. I kind of take them here but I take them sideways that's where I take them and yeah I actually for these often take them on my phone it's just easier and I like that I've got my poster there which I think is quite cool I know obviously this is 50s that was 40s and then this is some kind of vintage poster as I've said before not too sure what it's about but I like it oh hang on there you go got my cute little lights so basically I just take pictures of the front, the back, and maybe like some details if it's got like um, like a tag on it or just any something that I find a little bit more interesting than just a picture from like this and yeah. The final stage I didn't really film very well uh, but basically I'm trying to show you that I just put a sheet up over the door, try and move everything that's around it and as you can see the sheet doesn't stay up very well. I've tried to put bobby pins in and everything to try and keep it up but I still need to find a better method of keeping everything in place. So on the left is a video that works well. It's just me posing, showing off my dress. Um, I always try and make you know, my makeup or whatever I'm wearing match with the era. So obviously it is 60s, so I tried to make my eyeliner a bit more bold. So I basically just set my camera up on the tripod, press the button, have my two lights up. And then I thought I would include some pictures of the end result and how nice it looks. I edit it and crop it a bit and then how it can happen when you're running around trying to take pictures in 12 seconds and you step on the sheet a little too far back and it pulls it off its frame and then you don't have time to set it back up. So yes, basically that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting for you. Feel free to leave any kind of ideas on how you would set up for a little mini studio in the boat and I'll see you next week. Bye!